Hi friends, my name is Stephanie and I am excited you chose to join me today. This whole month we are going to be learning about kindness. Let's start by singing together a few new songs. Every time I'm feeling down, you pick me up. I'm grateful for the way you've been a friend to me. Sing. Oh, oh, oh. And even in the deepest, darkest night, you help me see. Sing it out now. Oh, 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 oh. I just wanna say thank you for the way you love me. I wanna say thank you for the way you love me. I just wanna say thank you. singing. Today we'll look at something Jesus himself said about kindness, which we can find in the book of Matthew. Matthew is one of the four gospels, the first four books of the New Testament. These books tell us the story of Jesus' life. Matthew was a tax collector who decided to follow Jesus and become one of Jesus' disciples. Matthew traveled with Jesus from town to town. He was there to see how Jesus taught and healed the crowds of people who followed him. One day, Jesus went up on a mountainside to teach. His friends, the disciples were there and a crowd gathered around. Jesus taught about many things like how we should live each day with love and kindness. One of the things Jesus said that day was this. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile, go two miles with them. Now, maybe that doesn't sound like it would be something hard to do. I mean, sure, a mile is a long way to walk and it'd be harder to walk two miles. But there was more to what Jesus said here. Sometimes when we read the Bible, we have to look at what it was like for the people living then to help us understand the full meaning of what we read. That's definitely the case for this statement Jesus made. There's something important that we need to understand about what life was like for the Jewish people at this time. Let's look again at what Jesus said to the people on the mountainside. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile. Okay. The key word there is forces. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile. In those days, the Romans were in charge over the Jewish people. 
and a Roman soldier might tell someone they had to travel a mile with them while carrying their heavy pack. Imagine that you were one of the Jewish people living at that time. You knew that if a Roman soldier asked you to carry their gear, you had to carry it for a whole mile. You had no choice. The soldiers could pick anyone they wanted to make them carry their heavy gear. But at least after one mile, you were done. The soldier couldn't make you carry their pack one more step. Now hold on a minute though. Jesus told the people that if they were in that situation, there's something else they should do. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile, go two miles with them. Okay, wow. They didn't have to just carry the pack for one mile. They could choose to keep going for a second mile. Jesus was giving the people an example that they could understand as a way to explain what kindness really means. Yes, a Roman soldier could make them go a mile, but the second mile was a choice they could make. That was the part they could control. They could choose to give another mile out of kindness. Now, I've got a question for you. When Jesus said we should go the extra mile, do you think he was only talking about carrying a soldier's pack? No. Jesus used this example to show that true kindness is about doing more than you have to do. It's about doing more than what people expect you to do. It's about showing others that they are valuable by how you treat them. We can be on the lookout to show that kind of kindness to others every single day. There are lots of ways that we can go the extra mile to show kindness. We can choose to be kinder than we have to be. That's what we need to remember today, our bottom line. Be kinder than you have to be. When you choose to live that way, you show other people what God's love and kindness are all about. They'll be able to see the difference God's kindness has made in your life. Let's pray and ask God to help us treat others with extra kindness. Dear God, thank you for this statement Jesus made that helps us see what real kindness is about. We want to show your kindness and love to others by going the extra mile. Please help us see ways that we can be extra kind. And please give us the courage and strength to do those things for others. Thank you for showing us how we can become kinder every day. We love you. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today as we learn more about how to show others they are valued by us and God through kindness. Be sure to have your family head to our website at crosspointweb.org family for information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story along with ways to connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to Crosspoint's YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.